Hi everyone, today I would like to talk about five modifications you can print for your Anet A8 which are going to improve the quality of your prints. So let's get started! Number one are the belt tensioners for your X and Y axes. There is no way to tension uh, the belts on the Anet A8 so you're gonna have to print your belt tensioners. Uh, there are tons of uh, tensioners available on the Thingiverse. For the X-axis I think this one is probably the best one, uh, but I cannot use it because I uh, did cut my uh, belt too short for, for the X-axis. Uh, so I've printed uh, this other one which works as well, but I'm planning to replace the belt and to use uh, this one instead. Uh, for the y-axis uh, I've chosen this belt tensioner just because I uh, like the way it works the most. Um, I'm gonna link uh, all of those down in the description uh, but you can choose whichever you like. Having the belt tightened properly is very important for the quality of your prints. What is the right amount of tension you ask? Well I've read somewhere uh, that your belt should sound like an E string on a guitar so I kind of try um, to tighten them like so. Number two are those reinforcements uh, for the top corner of the frame. Anet A8 has an acrylic frame uh, which is not very rigid and uh, if you print this modification and pop it in here like so, uh, it helps a decent amount. Third modification are those adjustment knobs uh, for the heat bed. You just pop M3 nut in them and it makes uh, leveling of the bed uh, much more convenient. With them you can also print those spacers uh, which are going to ensure that uh, the position of your bolt and your spring is always perfect. So this is a very convenient thing to print. Number four is new cooling nozzle. This is quite important if you uh, print with PLA a lot. Uh, this just directs the flow of the cooling air uh, from all of the sides to your printing objects and uh, makes the cooling much more efficient. And number five is this simple filament guide. Uh, it just makes sure uh, your filament goes directly to your extruder from the top and the filament doesn't wander around uh, the machine a lot. So those were the five modifications I think everyone should print for their ANET A8. I'm gonna leave links for those modifications down in the description so you can print them yourself. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments. And I'm gonna see you soon. Bye!